All right, we're going to the duck series now. We just got done with uh, drags. Now we're going to go to ducks. Re real quick, the big thing again is probably stepping inside and learning to lower your hips rather than duck your head. So we really shouldn't call it a deck duck. We should call it a, a hip drop, you know, sagging and lowering your elevation. All right, Scotty, get in there. We're going to go uh, collar tie and inside. So we're in the dumb position right now where both guys kind of tie up on the head. Scotty swims his hand inside, and what you want that guy is once you know his wrist is over your elbow, okay, then you should be able to just flare your elbow, squat, and drop. All right, do another two of those. If you're doing them right, the guy should fall forward. He should fall forward because you're pulling his head also. One more. Stepping inside. Good. Now we're going to go to double inside. So you could swing your hand off his head and slide it down to inside. Circle and do it, Scotty, so you can put it on his head first. Peel inside, and I'll circle the other one down. Now he's basically at double inside. Okay. So you can duck the side that your head is on. Do two of those. Circle, peel. He should fall forward, remember. Duck the side your head is on. Okay. He's dropping his head a little bit. All right, so he's going to duck. Now you can also get to that inside. Once you know there, you're going to lift the side of the arm that your head is on and then duck the other side. Okay, so you're kind of setting him up. Mason, pull your arm down a little harder when he first lifts it. When he lifts, he's thinking you're ducking there. You already anticipate and go the other way. And Scotty can step inside better and flare his elbows a little better. Flare, flare. Boom, boom. Just go automatic. Good. Uh... What's the other one? Underhook. Underhook to a, to a near side duck. So this is going to be a high crotch motion. So if Scotty would have his wrist, Mason's wrist, Scotty can bump him over his hip. Okay, and then what he's going to do is flare his right elbow and peek his head underneath and hit like a high crotch motion. Just go ahead and hit a high crotch out of there. So he can go bump, high crotch motion. Now, instead of going high crotch, we go to the waist instead. But you really got to throw that elbow like you're wiping sweat off your head. So he bumps them, swims, and attacks. Can you go turn sideways so we can see the... Just bump them a little bit. So I want to see the elbow motion. So he bumps them right here. So peaks that elbow hard. Okay, now let him grab your wrist. So we call this a windmill duck. You can just call it a far side duck. So Mason's got good control because that's what he's been taught. Okay, so Scotty gives him the same bump, and he's going to step inside with his right leg and windmill it. Try to show how to swing it straight. Okay, what you want to do is try to think about taking your pinky to the ceiling and keeping your arm totally straight. Mason, hang on to his arm pretty tight. Okay, good. Go again. That guy can hang on as tight as he wants, and you should be able to get this windmill. He bumps him, swings, and goes. Swing it a little more. Bump. Big swing. All right. So you'd have the option to duck the near side or the far side. Now we're going to go to a two-on-one to a duck. All right, so Scotty's got his two-on-one. Right, the big thing is you guys got to learn, Scotty's kind of starting to do it, but you got to learn to be tall when you're doing these things. Okay, so you're jacking him up. All right, so what Scotty's going to do is when the guy wants to fight his arm down, all he's going to do is follow the guy's wrist with his head, step inside, and go right into like a body lock power duck. So he throws it down. And follows it. And kick, chase that right hand to the waist. Again, when right before Scotty went, he started bowing and moving his head back. I'd rather have him be tall and have the guy start fighting his arm down and you just shove it down with him. Okay, shove it down and go to it right away right there. Okay? One more time. Do it a little quicker. Try not to bow. Just take it right from there and he's fighting it down and go to it. And this time I want you to step inside like I want you to do. Point, point your toe where you want to go. So Scotty should be stepping inside here. Now when Mason wants to fight his arm down, Scotty should be able to just follow it with his head and right into there. Okay, so that would be considered uh, high crotch or high crotch motion. So that's our duck series for now.